What lies just below the water surfaces of the earth? Unseen by the human eye, the deep has been a mystery to man. Centuries have deposited their treasures deep under their surface. Some lay rusting, others are lurking. One fish has survived the changes of the earth over the centuries. Its spiny back has protected the sturgeon for centuries. But how long can it survive the conquest of man? All right. <laughs> <laughs> See there? No teeth. Look at that. Let him go. Okay, folks, here's a fish that's got to be oh, close to seven feet. It's one of these really huge sturgeon like that. You know that you've done some serious fishing. And especially when they're bigger than you are. Yeah. Well, my name's John North with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, and I am currently the Columbia River Fisheries Manager for Oregon. And I oversee uh, fisheries in the Columbia from the mouth upstream to the Oregon-Washington border. Uh, near Tri-Cities, Washington. The biology of the white sturgeon is, is quite fascinating. Uh, they have a unique life history uh, pattern. They grow slowly. Uh, fish uh, will spawn uh, for males somewhere between four and five feet in length, which is somewhere around 14 to 19 years of age. And females don't become mature until approximately six feet, which is about 22 to 27 years of age. So there's a, a lot of energy and time invested in in the process uh, of reproduction also once they're mature these fish uh, will the females won't spawn maybe once every three to four years and sometimes not even uh, for once every seven years so they devote a lot of energy to their developing their egg mass they have a huge uh, fecundity somewhere between a quarter of a million and one million eggs per female, depending on the size. Hit him hard. No, hard. Harder, come on, do it harder. again. Turn the handle. You gotta turn the handle. Yeah. You there? Oh, I think he, I think he got lucky. Keep the tip up. Size. The eggs are uh, somewhere between two and a half and four millimeters in size. They spawn in these large rivers. Uh, such as the Columbia, Fraser, and Sacramento, and San Joaquin. There you go. Faster. Get, get some real pressure. I think I'm jumping in. They prefer uh, fast-moving water with some turbidity. Uh, they also will only spawn when the water temperature is somewhere around 48 to 62, about 58 is the preferred temperature, and it's, it's kind of a mass spawning in the river. The eggs are adhesive, and they also sink to the bottom. So very, very hard on them. If you don't get the hook all the way into it, then they come out where they'll break the hooks off, because the hooks aren't meant to pull from that side. Okay. Once they're fertilized, they sink down and they'll adhere to the rocky substrate, which is also a requirement. So they have a very specific spawning need, and that's why it's so important to protect those areas. You know that you've done some serious fishing. And especially when they're bigger than you are. Yeah, that, uh, that fish that Paula caught was actually about two feet taller than she was. She did weigh more than the fish. <laughs> <laughs> in the Columbia, almost all the spawning occurs right up next to Bonneville Dam, and then subsequently there's additional spawning upstream at the other dams. The eggs uh, will hatch in a in a in a uh, seven to fourteen days, and or that's the incubation period, and then they hatch in about two days. Uh, the fish grow uh, fairly rapidly at first. A one-year-old fish is about eight inches long, but then the growth starts to slow. It's approximately four inches per year up until three feet, and then about three inches per year thereafter uh, up until the time they're mature, and then the growth slows way down. My name is Richard Peterson, and I love fishing sturgeon, and uh, four years ago I won a wonderful fishing rod 
but a nice reel to go with it and it's just totally a joy to come out and to be with my friends and uh, most of the time we get lucky and catch some very nice sturgeon and uh, something that I look forward to yearly and hope I can do it for many more years. Uh, fish will be, a fish that's three feet long will be approximately ten, nine, nine years of age and then a fish that's four feet would probably be about 14 years, five feet would be about 19 and then a now can you imagine landing that fish? A little old 40 pound Cajun line. Pretty spectacular. There's a fish that probably weigh 130 pounds approximately. Yeah. Weighed more than you do, didn't it? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot fish would be approximately 23 to 25 years of age and we've we actually have done a lot of research on sturgeon where we've done some uh, we'll take a segment of their pectoral fin and we'll cross section it and age it like a tree and we've aged fish as old as 104 years here in the Columbia so they can live quite a long time.